Hey folks, Dr. Groovy Scott Grove here with uh, some lick ideas for the blues. This is number 14. Um, so here's the kind of stuff, if uh, this didn't exist, you wouldn't have BB King and so forth. This is what I call the guy who waits entirely too long to play a lick. Or will play the same lick uh, 20 times during the solo. Am I making fun of the guys? Uh, kinda. I know. He was famous. Who am I? Um, the guy that came along 40 years later and said, what the hell? <laughs> okay, enough screwing around. Um, these are going to be licks that are like this. They kind of answer uh, what the band is playing, or they wait around to see what the band did, or they just take, like I said, uh, entirely too long to feel something. But if that's your bag, that's your bag, and I'm here to stroke your bag. <laughs> okay, anyway, so the things will be like this. So that's what we're going to cover because these guys exist and you might be that guy. Okay, so uh, licks and ideas number 14 coming your way. Stick around. Okay, kiddies, thanks for coming back. And again, am I making fun of these dudes? No, I just wouldn't personally uh, be able to just sit around on a stool um, and do that type of thing myself. I couldn't sit there and... Yeah, my baby left me! Yeah, I said my baby left me! You get the idea, I'm not, I'm not gonna keep doing that, okay? Um, or the guy. Yeah. <laughs> Some of it's just a bit much for me. Okay. Again, we're in the key of E, as always. Um, the things about these type of things are... Trying to get them in the right place and hopefully not milk them too much. Okay? So when you're in the key of E, you have this much time for your solo thing. I'm not going through where they're singing. Okay, so solo time. Coming up. Okay, so we had a really quick idea for that. Uh, typical is what I did. Okay, that's going from seven to nine. Doing twice, a uh, hammer on up to nine, from seven to nine, sorry. Um, twice on the G string, and then eight with a bend upward here on the B string. Sounding like this again. comes back around so you can use the same basic idea I didn't uh, do it exactly the same because um, I didn't I just wanted to switch it up just enough 
Okay. First one, then to A. That there's a good one. And that's a bend on the B string from um, 10 up to 12. Then uh, down to the 8th fret. And then ninth fret on the G. Whether that's what I played on the original one or not, doesn't matter, it's the same idea. So, I'll play it now. And I would come in quicker, like that type of idea. Okay, so it's reminiscent of the first one we did in the fact that it had um, all the E elements, um, which is the E7, which it's going to have. Um, I went to the fifth of the E, which is going to be on the D string, ninth fret, and then the seventh fret of the G. And then going back up to the ninth fret of the E, because we're in E, um, which doesn't mean really much of anything. You could play anything in um, E and A that you're playing in E. Okay, so keep that in mind. So when the chord changes to A, you can answer back and do everything the same again. That's kind of what the blues like we're doing is kind of what uh, made all this happen. You can answer back to yourself and be able to do that over the one chord and the four chord, okay? So again. We're in A now, but I'm playing in E. you to do all that? No. It's just driving home the idea that you can keep on answering back to yourself and to the point where you uh, are just stuttering. <laughs> okay? Um, you're not just taking a pause to breathe. You're actually hyperventilating. Okay? So, uh, the only thing you really have to worry about in this type of playing um, is to actually try to find some flip and soul, okay? And again, to listen to the band so that you're not doing um, something off compared to what the idea of the band is, okay? If they're doing that type of thing, um, let them do that, and then you get to play. Okay, because what they're doing is very um, important. Okay. And you can back it up uh, right after and answer it by going the opposite way. Okay. Because they just went. Okay, it gives a, a answer back to what they just did, but it went a different direction. That's kind of a cool thing as far as I am concerned. Okay, now when you go up to the B, I'm giving you just a few examples here. You have right where you're at, but which is uh, the B, of course, 10th fret, B string, bending it up from the A to the B. And let it ring down or bend down to the A. And you're cool there. And then you can get back to the ideas of, okay, and that one was, so the B string, 10th fret, bent up, again on the B string, 8th fret, bent up, like we've done before, then the E note at the 9th fret on the G, okay, just twice, and then I did that B string at the 8th fret, bend again, 
And then I went to the B thing again. So um, with those ideas, I may not play the exact same thing this time, but it's all right around that E. We're doing answer backs in a way. Doing that little box there. And we're just staying in this position, this whole seventh, nine position thing. And um, you don't even have to stay up in that B while the whole B is there. You can go crazy and uh, do that, but you're getting away from your initial idea. So stay in your groove, okay, because uh, if you step outside of it with this type of playing, um, you're destroying basically your own idea. Okay, so um, a basic solo within this using exactly what I showed you would be like this. Just simply climbing up um, to another octave and you can decide whether you want to go in that other octave um, if you have two solos in a row and if you want to play up there or if that just is simply the ending of your solo <laughs> then you're back to singing again okay so again these are just simple simple ideas um, of course, in E, there is the thing I've taught before, uh, playing the sevenths there at the fourth fret G string, third fret uh, B string. Okay, chromatic down, which means one fret at a time. to the G, second fret on the D gives you an E, um, it can just be thrown in. Okay, I'm not going to teach you that all day long, but it sounds better if you're up here. Or, and uh, this goes a long way, so don't maybe take it so literally as the whole that whole thing um, check this out okay when it comes back around to the E I'll stick it in there and try not to make it so boring <laughs> just a play off the other one because we went okay I think I just went okay very basic change on that idea and then and just simply going to the A by going uh, B string G string start at the 12th fret chromatic up to the A so 12 13 14 While it's in A, okay, so that's just simply staying in the A, a lot of vibrato, but we're not st sticking around making the notes hang on forever. I did a B. 
in there. And as I've shown before, that one there on the 12th fret. Give it a tug as well, down a little bit, trying to get the G string to go up half step to that. Okay, so that's basically what's going on. When we go to the B, you need to go to the B, okay? Um, but you can do it simply by the exact same licks that we've been playing. Um, again. And again, that's bending the 10th fret of the uh, B string. Then when it goes to the A, we can either play an A or take the high road and play what uh, we should probably do, and that's play that leg. Okay, that's the bend that takes you out of the B. So the 10th fret that starts at the uh, pre-bend. Okay, so you do the pre-bend that is bent up to the 12th fret on the B string, down to the 10th fret, pull off to the 8th fret, and then back to your E, 9th fret G string. And what's cool about this is the more recent version, it's, you decide, it's your tune. Um, I like doing those step and a half bends. You do, you bend up, you bend down. I don't care. Okay. If you have a seven and a half inch radius, it might fart out on you. Okay. So, with all this in mind, I'll do one or two solos that demonstrates everything that I've shown you. Okay. <laughs> the ideas played however I felt them at the time every now and then I would try to listen to the band what they were doing and again hyperventilate for a while and breathe and um, tell the guy not to step on my neck ow too soon okay anyway so hope you dug it and understand what I was going for on this whole thing um, trying to pay homage to the BBs out there and help you see what they're doing and bring it into the future just a little bit plus just give you ideas to create your own stuff most importantly okay so stick around for number 15 coming at you tomorrow you guys stay groovy i always am and i'm out of here